The global political and economic elite are meeting this very week in Davos, Switzerland at the World Economic Forum. And this is where only the most top flight global players are allowed to come and meet and discuss and take part in this event. Now, you might think that what's going on here could be particularly important for the future of the world. However, the mainstream media would like you to believe that you are just a conspiracy theorist if you think anything out of the ordinary may be going on here at all. I'm going to explain to you why that position is just absolutely ridiculous and quite frankly, ignorant. I'm Stuart Hooper, a lecturer in political science and PhD researcher studying elite power nonetheless. Be sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers in 2023. That's my big aim. Sub to the channel. Help me out. Hit like. Leave your comments. Share the videos. It's all greatly appreciated. Now, as I mentioned, the mainstream media when it comes to topics like this, has gone completely off the rails into the realm of ignorance, unfortunately. The mainstream media is currently suggesting that you need this to properly understand the global elite at the World Economic Forum. What would you do with this? Well, you could make a tinfoil hat and you could become a true conspiracy theorist. And remember, always use non-stick foil when you're making your tinfoil hat. Makes it all the easier to remove after you've done being so ridiculous. Which, of course, the media thinks you are for even probably considering the point of view that I'm going to present in this video. In fact, what I think you need is none of this. What you really need are a few of these books which break down and understand what it means to have a global elite class in our world. But let's take a look at the offending article here which comes from the AP, um, a once respected news outlet that used to be based purely on fact. But here we are with an injection of purely ignorant opinion. The World Economic Forum, which opens Monday, is slated to take on pressing global issues. But online, it has become a target of bizarre claims from a growing chorus who believe it involves a group of elites manipulating events for their own benefit. Because the wealthiest, most powerful people in the world would absolutely not do anything for their own benefit. They wouldn't manipulate anything to try and maintain their own position of wealth and power and status and prestige in the world. They absolutely would never do that. This is a loving, caring global elite that's only trying to save the world. Is this really the position that we're going to take in 2023 AP? This is embarrassing. And interestingly enough, the article itself even admits that the attendees here are heads of state, business executives, cultural trendsetters, representatives of international organizations, and that there are even backroom meetings held in secret that take place here. But despite all of that, the article tries to spin any negative perspective of the World Economic Forum in a position that tries to tie you in with all manner of other ridiculous ideas. Not only is that really disingenuous, but the author has just listed a group of people that are so far removed from the ideals of our democratic processes in the Western world that to then turn around and say, you're absolutely crazy for thinking something else might be going on here, is doubly ridiculous. In what world have these transnational business executives been looking out for the every everyday average Joe on the street? In what world have these international organizations been chosen by people at a national level 
to actually be a part of these things. Did you or I ever have a vote on joining these international organizations or was that just done for us? You're starting to see the problem here? Now there's one key academic figure that is absolutely central to understanding what is going on with these groups of elites. And that is C. Wright Mills, who writes The Power Elite. And he argues that if you are part of an institution that has at least national decision-making power, and here we're going far beyond that into international, transnational decision-making power, then you should be considered part of this power elite because you can make decisions that have consequences that go far beyond the average Joe on the street. And the example that Mills uses here is the idea that we live in a world where a teeny tiny group of men could turn the entire planet into a thermonuclear wasteland overnight. And there would be absolutely no majority say in that decision. And I think what's the most powerful quote that's applicable here from Mills and the power elite is this. He says, to accept either view of all of history as a conspiracy or all of history as drift, meaning where everything is just happening randomly, to do either of those things, everything's a conspiracy or everything's random, is to relax the effort to understand the facts of power and the ways of the powerful. It is simply a fact that these people have far more decision-making power and influence than you or I will ever have. Therefore, yes, we should look at them incredibly critically. Yes, we should pay attention to these groups. Yes, we should ensure that we critique them as much as possible and at least try to hold them to account. And it really doesn't help when the mainstream media posts things like this. Please subscribe if you're new here to the channel. I'm going to be bringing more videos on the World Economic Forum this week. The next one coming up is going to be on disinformation and my critiques there are going to be at least as fiery as the critiques you've heard here. So be sure to stick around and I'll be back with that video real soon. And don't forget to share this one everywhere you possibly can. It's possible to understand and critique these institutions from a legitimate perspective. Let's spread this understanding of our current global power structures. Let's try and hold them to account.